In the last 60 years, since the George Washington and the 41 for Freedom first put the sea in the 1960s, the strategic deterrent mission has remained a constant of the uh, Department of Defense policy. It was vital then during the Cold War, and it still remains vital now. Uh, and the fact that the mission itself hasn't changed, the way we go about it has, the way we train, the way we fight now has all changed. We continue to evolve with the times and with technology, but the mission being so steadfast and strong, I think is the key to its strength. The development of the SSBN was groundbreaking um, in the nuclear deterrence mission. What weapon system has survived um, 60 years, you know, relatively conducting things very much the same? You know, you send an SSBN to sea, no one knows where it is for a long period of time, um, and it deters the United States enemies from attacking the United States because um, they understand that there's mutually assured destruction. By being there, by being present, we have an invisible hand on every world conflict. The ability to go to sea for 90 days, come back for about the same and then go back again um, and keep doing that repeatedly for several years is not exactly an easy thing for a human being. And the fact that our sailors do that day in, day out, and they do that 24-7, 365, and they do it successfully is very, very important. I think we've always had great sailors in the submarine force and also in the ballistic missile submarine force. Um, and one of the recent changes uh, in the past few years was the addition of women to the SSBN crews, which I think really expands the talent pool um, and makes us just all that much stronger in how we operate and conduct the strategic deterrent mission. It's an amazing community, highly specialized, and no matter how old or young you are in the force, anyone that encounters somebody that is wearing dolphins and has done a strategic deterrent patrol, that's a unique and tight-knit group of true professionals that since the first deterrent patrol in 1960, we all share a common heritage. And when we get together and meet folks that were back from the 60s and 70s on the first class of the 41 for Freedom SSBNs that started our program, we can sit and talk about the same stories, even in uh, vastly different oceans and vastly different uh, geopolitical eras. I'm a Submariner and I will be for life. And to specifically be on the BN platform to do what I do every day, I'm just super proud because there, there is such a rich heritage. It's super special to be a part of that second strike capability and the ability to really defend our nation at the worst case scenario, which would be a war. This means that I'm a part of something bigger than myself. Like I'm out here, I am protecting my family, my community, the nation that I've uh, sworn an oath to. So this is, uh, uh, that's what it means to me. I believe that the history is more of a legacy. We have learned a great deal. We keep advancing, and I love the fact that um, the public is part of that advancement, both civil and military. So all people working together are making our world a safer place to live. It's a very silent service. No one even notices us. We're like an old um, telephone pole on a corner. Like, you know they're there, you know they're important, but you really don't understand why they're there. But for us, we know we're the backbone, the final leg of everything. Our history is our silence. Our silence is our mission. We are here 24 hours a day, ready to go, and that is our heritage. It's quiet 60 years. Well, let's keep it that way.